is happening? Welcome back to The Past Alive. Thank you all for tuning in tonight for the return of Mailbag Monday, the weekly series where I showcase mail sent in to me by subscribers and also occasionally mail that I buy on my own. But tonight, we only have one thing to rip into sent in by a woman named Cheryl, based out of Ohio. Cheryl has sent me all kinds of goodies over the years. So Cheryl, shout out to you. Thank you very much. We have an awesome novelty item and we have... Some junk wax era packs to rip into. Everyone's favorite, including my own. But let's get down to it. The first thing that Cheryl sent me was this. How many of you guys remember the cartoon mask or the freaking awesome toy line made by Kenner? And if you guys watch my channel, you know how much I love novelty items from this era. The real Ghostbusters and all kinds of other stuff. It's just things you don't really ever see anymore. And... When I, can, when I say I've never seen these before, I definitely have never seen these slipper socks for the mask toy line in the cartoon. This is super cool. This cartoon was relatively short-lived. It uh, debuted in 1985 and lasted for two seasons, 75 episodes. The toy line was freaking awesome. Of course, Kenner made it and produced those toys. So, of course, they're going to be great. But I've never seen these slipper socks before for this cartoon this is so freaking awesome and it has the original toys r us sticker on it for 397 how freaking cool is that so cheryl thank you so much for thinking of me and sending those my way that's very very awesome of you and i wanted to let you know too i moved all my stuff from the basement cheryl and i misplaced the last note you sent me i know there's some naughty tops cards you needed some rookies and stuff if you could some way email me maybe or something along those lines uh, but in the meantime, I'll try to find the notes. I just don't know where it's at for the time being. It seems to have got misplaced. It's here somewhere, but I'd like to get those out to you um, as soon as I possibly can. Cheryl sent in some packs as well. We have five packs here. 91 Fleer, 90 Protect, find the Reggie. How crazy would that be to pull the Reggie Jackson autograph from that? 92 Stadium Club Series 2. So it's not the Levitating Mike Walkton series, unfortunately, but we may still find some goodies in there nonetheless. We have 92 Fleer Ultra, Series 2, and a 93 Fleer. Maybe we'll find a Tom Glavin autograph. Let's just, let's just get into it. We'll start with 93 Fleer. These pack wrappers always tear to shreds. There's really no easy way to do it. Every time I say that, they open perfectly fine. <laughs> it's usually my luck. But most of the time, they just rip apart. 93 Fleer. I used to buy a lot of these back in 93. Let's hope for a nice insert. I see something different coming up in here. It's probably a Tom Glavin insert card. Is it the autograph? We're going to have to wait and see. Fat Fingers almost gave it away. Denny Cox. I did like how they had the update down here in the corner. Assigned by the Blue Jays. And David Howard. Rob Murphy. Mike Greenwell. And we got some all-stars here. And it's pretty sick because we got Walker and Dalton. With a freaking Budweiser sign above their head. Marlboro is obscured, but Budweiser is way out in the open. And I will definitely put that in the offensive signage box, if it's not in there already. For that is a good one. John Patterson, Scott Sanderson, and a miscut Tom Glavin inserts. Along with Lance Parrish piggybacking. Not the Glavin autograph. It's a bad cut. The rest of the pack is like perfect. <laughs> that one just... Not very good looking. But, I'll take it. Offensive signage card and a Galavin insert. Not too shabby. 92 Fleur Ultra's next series. Two, 14 freaking cards. 91 Fleur Ultra. They really missed the boat on that one. It was a big flop. I think people liked it when it was released back in 91 because there was like Orlando Merced rookie card and stuff. But the design is just so dreary. The gray. They did a lot better in 92 with a foil. Saber and Larry Walker once again. Two packs in a row. Scott Bullitt, you can imagine I was definitely pumped on him at some point around this time. Some stickiness, Eddie Taubensee, Jim Gott, Wild Thing, Mitch Williams, Donovan Osborne, definitely another name I was probably pumped on, along with John Vanderwall. <laughs> the list of guys that I was stoked on as a kid, endless. It is literally endless. 91 Fleer, collect Fleer Pro Visions. The best thing to come out of Fleer in the early 90s with the Pro Visions cards are freaking awesome. 14 cards in here. Put on your blinders. School Bus Yellow is coming into play. 
Blue Jays sticker starts it off. We got a Doc Gooden here. Ed Whitson, who has definitely been deemed an omen long ago. I couldn't tell you the last time I opened a pack of 91 Fleer, so. Devon White, all the best rookies ended up in the update set that year. We have Dave Winfield, Willie McGee, Francisco Cabrera, <laughs> with a terrible bitter beer face there. And we got Dwight Gooden to end that pack. Gooden, probably my favorite card of that one. And we have two left. 90 for deck, Final Reggie, and 92 Stadium Club. Jose Offerman took the NLB by storm back in the 90s. Early 90s, I should say. Those are her shies. And of course, I have to point it out every single time that I open early 90s Stadium Club. I love that Topps rookie on the back. It is uh, such a cool um, little design they did there. All rude. There's a Clemens member's choice. Craig Wilson, the propaganda piece. John Kelly throwing a haymaker. Howard Farmer. Let's see if we can find any big names. There's a wild thing again. I don't know if which, if Mitch Williams is on the Omen list or not. It's a pretty awesome photo, though. I do like that one. Lance Johnson. Craig Shipley, Don Slots. Brantley, Lloyd McClendon, and there's Jose Offerman to end that pack. One pack remains for this video. Like I said, it's going to be a quick one. Hopefully next week will be a little bit longer. But I like to try to keep things consistent and do this every Monday night. Last pack. And thank you again to Cheryl for sending me this. And those sweet mask socks. Or I should say slip-ons. Slipper socks. Danny Gladden, that long, luscious mullet flapping in the wind. So we find a Ben McDonald error card. Winfield once again. Luis Salazar, Junior Felix. I feel like I did not like Junior Felix when I was a kid. I don't know why. Scott's got a rookie card. Not the short print from the top set. Teddy Higuera, or as we called him as kids, Teddy Hugger. <laughs> St. Louis Cardinals hologram and ninja star. Mark Gardner, Nick Asaski, Tony Castillo, Alan Trammell shows up. Dave Valley, Greg Bradley, and Joel Skinner. So we kind of struck out on that pack, but... Still, is always fun to rip these older packs. So that is all that I have for you guys tonight. Hopefully next Monday I will have a little more mail for you. But thank you. Shout out to Cheryl for sending these things. You freaking rule. And hopefully we can get in touch soon. I'll find out uh, those cards that you needed. And tomorrow night, turn back the clock Tuesday. And we are heading back to 1988. Ripping open a box I've never opened before. Let alone, let alone on this channel. And... Uh, the Canadian version of Don Russ from 88. Some of these PSA 10s can go for a pretty penny. Looking for Roberto Alomar rookie Tom Galavin. And, of course, all the stars of the era. So that will be around 8.30 tomorrow night. Hopefully you'll join me for that. Thank you guys all for watching. Have a great rest of your evening. I'll see you tomorrow.